Hi guys and welcome. If you want to start your own business on Shopify, this video can be handy for you because in this video I want to provide you with um, all things that you need to know to start your own website, to start your own business in Shopify. And it's pretty simple and easy. Um, and actually I saw those one hour or three hour tutorials uh, and I don't want to waste your time, so I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible to highlight the main things that you need to know. Uh, before I started, I wanted to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video, and you can easily get access to this platform using this link, and we'll be appreciated about that. So, um, want to show you all the things that you need to know. Um, first of all, Actually, you need to start a free trial. You need to pass the registration. It's simple and easy. The platform will ask you a couple of questions about are you selling or not. Uh, do you have physical products or not? Are you making this uh, shop for yourself or for some of your client, maybe? And that's pretty easy. You'll handle it for sure. I will not show it to you. I just created the new account to show you all the things that you need to know. And actually here, you need to provide the platform with your email address, create a password and um, create your store name. Uh, and this can be really, really difficult, actually, because all the names you know, like good store, nice shop uh, are pretty occupied and uh, you need to create something more creative actually so but let's jump to you will handle it for sure let's jump inside the platform and i will provide you with an all information that you need okay we are on the dashboard and before you'll select your plan um you can set everything up and after that you can select a plan uh before you'll buy your actual plan on shopify you will not be able to sell some products, but you can set everything up and it's going to be ready to launch uh, and then you can sell it to plan. I will not uh, launch physical uh, physical store right now in this video, uh, but I just want to provide you with an all information that you need. So home, actually, this is the page that you can see. You can add a product, customize theme and add a domain. We're going to talk about all this a little bit later. Uh, you can explore YouTube channel of uh, Shopify to learn some new things, uh, to learn some uh, like more information about how to how to make all this happen. And actually, um, uh, there are a lot of things, and really, this is very powerful platform to sell products because it's it's very and very famous. First of all, there are a lot of people who want to buy some things. Uh, in, on Shopify and to sell some things in Shopify and it's very popular. I think that you know that. Uh, so here in orders, you'll see all the um, all the orders and all the payments and all the things will be available here. Drafts and unbonded checkouts, products. This is actually the button where you are gonna add, delete, sort uh, all your products, inventory, transfers, collections and gift cards. Uh, all this you will use um, after you'll physically launch your um, your shop, your online store uh, with all the things and add a product. This is actually the first step, uh, but I'm going to provide you with all those buttons. And after that, we're going to talk about how to set up your online store. Customers, mm, um, this is very useful button, actually, because when you're going to have your physical customers, all the information not you'll not be able to uh, get all the information that you need about customers, but it can be handy to know who's buying, uh, when, and, and so on, and you can work with that information. So analytics here um, on the dashboard, you'll see the macro actually of all of your sales and all of your uh, things that, that you're making. Uh, reports also, and live view, um, it's actually for uh, for those who making uh, sales right now. But when you're just starting, it's not necessary. But analytics is definitely one of the most important thing of uh, running your business because 
it gives you tons of information about how at which direction you need to go yeah to to make everything better and to make everything uh, look greater marketing of course marketing overview from this spot you can make all your marketing campaigns and also you can add some marketing apps that will help your website to grow and uh, help your website to sell actually uh, it's like snapchat you see email marketing uh, applications and so on and you can view more marketing apps and more apps we're gonna talk about them a little bit later here so campaigns uh, also you can run a campaign straight from here um, automations mm, this button helps you to sleep when your online store is working for you so all the automation and all the all the things will happen like automatically and you will not uh, you will not need to handle the things by your hands discounts um, here you can create a coupons and discount codes uh, to provide them to, to provide those codes to your potential customers via your blog or social media or in any any type of way that you want apps as i told you there's design planning shipping and bookkeeping and a lot of useful applications you can add to your um to your online store and in that case you'll be able to sell more you'll be able to run um, um better marketing campaigns and so on and so on so that there's a lot of applications uh, some of those are free and some of those you need to buy or or you need to share a fee with a, with an application but it's literally great opportunity to make your website bigger to make your online store works properly and better than you even can think about it so online store sales channels actually home and products this is all that you need here all the things you'll use when it's going to be ready and when it's going to run and actually and sales channels let's press this button and you can add some sales channels like messenger and google and facebook and shopify chat and and, and a lot of things buy button you can apply it to uh, you can like sell your products anywhere with this button uh, and you see free to add by button fees may apply and and so so on for all of those uh, sales channels but mm, if you don't have an online store yet what are we talking about uh, so online store let's jump to this section and actually the themes blog posts pages navigations domains and preferences let's jump to preferences first uh, and I want to show you that you have the password protection from the start and you uh, need to disable it with the plan. So when you buy in a plan, actually, you need to set up everything first. And after when you're going to pick a plan for your sales, you'll be able to switch off the password. And uh, actually, this is uh, this is nice because a lot of people can start selling um online and and the platform not allows you to do that before you pick a plan actually um so all the, the here in the preferences style and meta description all the seo things social sharing images google analytics facebook pixel um and and customer privacy you can make all those so you can you, you need to check all those before you go live actually but let's go to themes and i'm going to show you how you can um change your your website how you change your uh page to be beautiful to be efficient and so on so the current theme is an actually um, uh, debuted and it's um so it's, it's literally obvious for those who are using um, this website, using this platform to sell some things, it's going to be obvious that you're using default theme. Um, so that's why you can you can discover the free themes or you can buy themes in a uh, theme store. But how to change the things is pretty, uh, pretty similar and it doesn't matter. You're going to use the default theme or you're going to use the uh 
paid theme and a new one and so on there's great and big library and you can uh, you can change everything literally uh, in seconds but it's it's pretty unusual for those who who try to build their own uh, online store it can be a little bit confusing to use this uh, structured menu because uh, in most cases it's drag and drop features and it's very and very convenient to build a website um, with a drag and drop features but here is like there's there's a menu and you can change all the sections uh, is also sections build you can add a section um, to move them you need to press this spot with the six dots and you can move them and reshape uh, the view of your of your web page and to delete add section is absolutely understandable how to make that happen uh, and if you need to delete some section you need to jump into this section and you see on the bottom uh, there's remove button uh, and so on uh, in each of this mm, you have a lot of things to change a lot of things to um, manage and actually it's up to you which um, which like images to use which shape to use and so on it depends on top of your business that you try to uh, start and so on so you you have a lot of settings uh, and you need, need to spend some time i will not um launch the physical um physical store in this video just showing you how everything looks from the inside uh, images want to say that there are tons of free images in um, a lot of categories and you can choose like tag for example and you see that there's a lot of pictures nice quality pictures that can suit to your business uh, and uh, you can find a category uh, that you're using to uh, to sell some products or maybe you creating a physical products definitely you can use those pictures but it's much more better to use your own content um, but if there's an opportunity not to buy pictures and not to spend more money to start your uh, start your own website definitely it's it's better to use the free images but if you have your own content if you have your uh, brand colors and, and the things like that definitely it's better to use your own so all all the changes you can set uh, by your hands and and everything is pretty understandable here layout section height text size and, and it it's you cannot change the text here and this can be a little bit confusing you need to uh, make it all here in the left hand menu as I told you previously and you see the changes applies um, in the seconds it's unusual actually that's what I want to say it's unusual but it's very and very powerful um, and you can use all those to um, to create your own shape to create your own uh, website and that's that, that's pretty um, pretty understandable how to make that happen okay so we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna exit this leaf page and I want to show you the products uh, because the products is one of the most important parts of your uh, web store because if you have no products what are you trying to sell that mm, this is actually mm, great and very powerful part of this site uh, so you can um, you can like type in the title the description a lot of people using this insert image or insert video but I suggest you to use this media uh, media spot so pricing you can set up price for for one item uh, here you can compare at price and uh, this price will be crossed for for example 150 uh, and here cost per item for example is 50 for example yeah and uh, customers will not see this uh, you can charge 
tax on this product and it depends uh, on your location and probably uh, you need to do that if you in the United States and so on if you have cost per item maybe you're making a drop shipping or something like that um, you can apply this um, this your like stock price and you see the margin and you see the profit uh, and of course it, it depends on the price that you're selling I don't know what's happening with the with the currency but it doesn't matter inventory this is also a very interesting thing if you have a lot of things to sell it can be very very handy and all the shipping information uh, and all, all the things like weight will be handy for delivery and and so on and so on and variants if you have uh, like different sizes or colors if you're selling maybe clothes or, or some else things like that <clears throat> it can be handy to take care about the size and you can make the separate options with a comma here like this is size or it can be a color and so on and so on and it, it actually depends on type of your business that you're trying to um, trying to start and all the things that you can make here uh, is absolutely great because it's a very powerful powerful platform uh, to run the sales on a lot of products and you have uh, inventory here and this is pretty great you can apply stock um, how much how much physical items you have in your stock and you'll see all these things uh, here so of course in this online store you need to again you uh, didn't tell you about the domains you see tons of goods here dot my shopify.com is definitely you're an amateur and you're not uh, like pro yeah to be a pro you need to buy a new domain that will describe your business um, in the best way and that will be simple and easy to understand easy to remember and so on probably you have your business name and definitely it's better to use your own domain all these preferences you need to check out first before you launch and when you're gonna pick up your plan you'll be able to launch your physical uh, store not the physical yeah the virtual store but on the on the Shopify it's gonna be available and um, anybody uh, can find your store and to buy some goods from you uh, actually that said uh, if you have an idea for business if you have things to sell definitely it's better to sell the Shopify because it's very and very powerful platform to make that happen you can create collections you can uh, handle all the delivery and all the payment things this is very very uh, convenient really so if you want to start your own business this is the best spot to start because it's very powerful it has a lot of options to upgrade and it's one of the best online store places to start uh, thanks on this spot i hope you enjoyed hope this was useful and i hope you will launch soon and you'll make a big profits Thank you one more time. I want to remind that our team left the link in the description panel. Use that link to get access to this platform. Wish you good luck. Wish you big profits. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.